A dog? As usual, Farrell was up to no good while Mum and Dad were away. And as usual, he was after the map. Meanwhile, the penny dropped for Dulcie. You stole all of my songs? It wasn't me. It wasn't you. Your drawers are full of them. What are you going to tell me? It was one big clerical error? You sabotaged my career! I'm sorry, Jules, I can't. But I'll get some help. Please, Mr. O'Farrell. It's got to be here. Please help me. Look, look I, I, I never meant to hurt you. <laughs> or your musical genius. Well, then set a marriage date and give me a ring. So, Farrell was in a bind, Dulcie in control, Horatio in jail, Liam in despair, and Ellie and me were on the brink of a crucial discovery. I wonder who it is. It's me, Jules. It's me. Help me through the world. Take me by the hand. Once upon a time, I believed I didn't need any help of mine. Then you came along and you showed me I was wrong. Help me through the world. Take me by the hand. Stay close by my side when I need a friend. Thinking this felt a bit weird, you're right. But it meant a lot more than that too. Although at the time I didn't realise just what a significant find it was. Look. Is it yours? Yes. That's my mother and father. They gave it to me for my birthday. I was actually wearing it when... Really? When it happened.
after that, Ellie was... Ellie? Well, things were different. I don't know why exactly, but I could read the signs. Still, while we were trying to get out of the tunnels, Flat. Foundation Day was waiting for no one. Drop. Dick. Cannon. Dick. Can I fire the cannon this year, Dad? Can, can I? Can I? Uh, no, no, no. No, Sergeant Diggs fires the cannon. You play the drum roll. Well, we can't fire the cannon until we've heard the drum roll, can we? Now, what about your great-grandfather's Victoria Cross? Better give it to me now. Ah, good man. We must all do what's best for the community on Foundation Day, mustn't we? What's this? Please help. Jules in tunnel. Where'd you get this? Uh, in the typewriter. Oh, yes. In fact, although he couldn't work out who wrote it, Farrell secretly thought the note could well be genuine. So he did what any decent Farrell would do. Rubbish. Forget it. It's probably somebody's idea of a joke. <laughs> But Bridget was made of sterner stuff where my welfare was concerned. Uh, Mrs. Travella? Uh, are you home? Now, at this point, Bridget's head was telling it a hightail it back home. Uh, Mrs. Travella? Julian? But her heart was saying, don't leave until you're sure Julian's safe. And yes, her heart one. So she waited anxiously while Mum and Dad raced back from the city. At the time, of course, I wasn't aware of any of this. In fact, as I found out later, there was quite a lot happening that night that I wasn't aware of. Mother! Father! How did you get here? Darling, I remember what happened now. It's taken you so long to find peace. It's time to come with us now, Ellie. No, it is time for your spirit to move on. Why? Because you know what happened. There's nothing more to fear. No more answers to find. So it's time to come. It wouldn't be fair. Open, so I just let me. What tunnel? Where is this tunnel? Oh, I don't know. Well, who wrote this? I found it at the police station. <laughs> Jules is missing. What? He's not here. He's not in his room. Well, where is he? In a, in a tunnel, apparently. Oh, what? There. See? Do you know what this means? No. Well, do you think you can find out? Our son is missing. Why don't you do something for once? Aren't you worried? Aren't you even a bit concerned? Yes, of course. Then do something. Oh, I will. I will. I will. Uh, what do you think I should do? No! Oh, okay. I'll. I'll, I'll drive in the town and speak to Diggs. Drive? In our car? It'll take you three days to get out the gate. Of course. Well, what the hell? Dad needed the exercise anyway. How did you sleep? Good, but I know why beds are invented. Just 
so I guess we ought to try and find a way out, huh? Someone no one's around. Wonderful. My son could be dying. <laughs> Citizens of Waterloo Creek. We assemble here today to remember our brave and fearless ancestors who established this community 169 no years That's ago right. today. That's they arrived in an untamed land. Do you know any tunnels oh, around oh, here? Oh, you see, do you mind? I'm oh, sorry. This is a remembrance service. Yes, I know. Uh, my son's missing. I'm trying to get help. He's right. not missing. Yes, he is. Missing? When did you last see him? Oh, yesterday. We, we found a note saying he was lost in a tunnel. Does anyone know any tunnels around here? No, there aren't any. Yes, there are. They're under the help. Underneath our place? Uh, yes. Look, can we have some order here, some respect? This is Foundation Day. How do you get into them? I don't know. I don't think anyone knows anymore. Diggs, any chance of getting some blokes together to have a look around the property? Yeah, well, of course. Absolutely not. Foundation Day's been held here every year since 1822. Come rain, hail or shine. And no Johnny come lately's gonna stop that. Tradition still has some meaning here, hasn't it? Did you hear me? I said tradition still means something in this town, doesn't it? Exactly so. Pray, proceed with the service. <coughs> you must be one of the most selfish, inhuman people ever born. You talking to me? Yes. My son is missing. He could be trapped, starving, any number of things. But what does it mean to you, hmm? You're too busy wearing your VC and basking in the glory of your own self-importance. I'm sorry, I need help now. I apologise for interrupting your service, but I will be grateful to anyone who could spare the time to help me look for jewels. Please. Beryl? No, uh, don't be bullied by him. I mean, if it's got to that stage, then what's the point of Foundation Day? You're here to celebrate courage, then why don't you show some? Stay at your post. Shut up. I'm fed up with being ordered about by you. The kid's in trouble. It's my job to help. The chief magistrate turns up in the district court. Tough. It's your problem, isn't it? Is it? No. Anyone else want to help? You'll regret this. I'm warning you. You'll all regret it. This is the most disgusting day in the whole history of Waterloo Creek. I think it's time we cut our losses on this one, then. What? William! You know, I think you're right. If the Chief Magistrate does turn up, it is my problem. Mr. Travella, Dixie, uh, I think I can help you. Uh, I know how to get into the tunnels. Darling, have I shown you my engagement ring yet? Isn't it just the most divine thing? We thought you'd like to be the first to know. Thanks. Thank you. 
get us out of here. I can. You could have fooled me. Well, if that's the way you feel about it. Ellie, no. It was just a joke. Come on, Ellie. Honest, I was only kidding. Ellie? Well, do you wish to stay in there or not? Very funny. And so ended the great tunnel search. On one hand, we discovered Ellie's grave and solved the mystery of the monster. But on the other hand, we hadn't even come close to finding the treasure. So overall, it was a mixed result. Still, the best part was that absolutely nobody had even noticed I was missing. Or had they? wouldn't give us an overdraft, which means we've got no money. Or rather, we've got some, but we're going to run out before we can fix this place up. I'm sorry, Julian, really, but we don't have any choice. I can't leave now. You don't think we want to leave, do you? Well, if you don't want to, don't do it. It just isn't that easy. To stay here, we're going to suddenly have to find fifteen to twenty thousand dollars. Now, where do you think we're going to find that sort of money? In the tunnels. It's down there. Julia. No, really, it is. I'll show you. See this? Mm. It belonged to Mad Feral. Mad. So I told them Mad about Feral. the treasure and the Feral's tunnels and the map and everything. Some sort of treasure they took a bit of convincing, of course, oh, especially Julia. Mum. No, really but in the end, did. they agreed to at least Julia. give it a go. The only problem was that to find the treasure, we needed both halves of the map. There really is something down there. All we have to do is go down there and find it and we can stay. There's no way I'm going to leave you. This is me trying to look confident. But in fact, it all depended on you know who. How do I know this isn't just a trick so that you can get a look at my half of the map? <laughs> you don't. That's why I propose a joint expedition. Let's say you, me, Julian and Liam, and whatever we find, we split down the middle 50-50 between each family. <sighs> How about I just buy your half? Be easier, wouldn't you think? Say a thousand dollars. I don't think so. Well, 1,200. Sorry. Well, there's no guarantee there's anything down there but junk. Yeah, it might be junk, but there might also be a fortune. 2,000, that's my last offer. Not interested. Oh, all right then. A joint venture. But I'm not happy about the split. I mean, my half of the map's been in our family for five generations. You've only just picked up yours by accident. 70-30. 50-50 or nothing. No deal. 50-50 or I burn this half now. You, you wouldn't dare. Wouldn't I? Wouldn't I? Don't call me, wouldn't I? Hold on! Dad, 50% is better than nothing. All right. 50-50. But as long as I can supply the search equipment, at a nominal price, of course. Yeah, and I want to go too. Oh, shut, shut up. up. All right, Feral, you can supply the search equipment, but only as long as she can come along as well. Oh. Dad! Forget the treasure. 
So off we all set. And Dad thought we should go this way, and Beryl thought we should go that way, and Bridget thought we had to go some other way completely. And we all said, fine, Bridget, you go that way. But she didn't, worse luck. So we were all in one big happy group when finally... I think this must be it. Are you sure? Yeah. Just look at your half of the map. Yeah, you're right. Where is it then? All I can see is rubbish. On guard! Hey, look, um, Bridget, Bridget, stop that! No place to be messing around. What's marked on the map is a large X. Well, it could hardly be an X, could it? No, look! What? Oh, it's an X, we found it. <gasps> Where's the treasure then? Well, probably behind these rocks. Push! Ah. Can I open? Oh, please, uh, please, please, let, let me open. I, 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 I am the town's representative. Can I, please? All right, Cheryl, you can open it. No, I'm opening it. In the name of equal Well, tension mounted. The excitement was unbearable. We were all on edge. What would it be? A million dollars? Oh. Two million? In fact, what it was was just incredible.